people, I don't say it's because we're overspending or this or that. Now he's trying to demagogue energy uh, companies. You know, he ran saying he was going to shut down energy production in this country. That's what he said. He said no more fossil fuels. He came into office and did this huge executive order that basically shut down things like Anwar and Keystone and all these other things. And so this is the policy you know, that he pursued. And now he's lashing out uh, because people are, are, are upset that this has been a failed policy. Uh, but the reality is, is a lot of what we're seeing uh, has been self-inflicted uh, by really bad policies. You also have the printing of money and all that they've done. And he's saying, don't say that we're spending too much money or printing too much money. But you know, you even have Obama's economists all come out and say that that was a huge mistake to print trillions of dollars when you already had uh, unemployment where it was and it led to uh, the inflation that we see. And the inflation, they'll say 8.6%, it did accelerate, which is bad, but it's much higher than 8.6%. Because the things that really matter, you know, they count, the way they count it, some of the things that are below 8.6%, that doesn't affect, like we don't buy any of that really, most people don't do it. The things that you actually do, like going to the grocery store, going to the gas station, all that, way higher uh, than 8.6 percent and so that that's just the reality this is the the fruits of some really bad decisions and you know there's nothing wrong with just admitting you were wrong and reversing course i don't think he'll do that but that's really what you have to do and the thing is is the, the releasing barrels of oil from the strategic petroleum reserve that is not an energy policy, okay? That's a political move trying to CYA so people don't blame you as much, although they do blame him because they're smart. Uh, but that's all that is. That is not a solution. And, and honestly, you have, uh, he's drawing that down. If we did have something else happen, we may need to actually use that for other things, and we may not have the capacity at that point. So uh, very, very reckless to be doing that. It has not made a dent in the price at all uh, because this is much larger than just that. So, so it's, been, um, it's been really, really head-scratching, but this is having a huge impact on people. You know, the Fed's going to raise interest rates again probably. That's going to slow the economy down. They're probably going to continue to do it. Uh, so you know, we're dealing with, you know, in Florida, we actually manage our budget well. We don't overspend. We have a big surplus. We have low taxes. And we're, we're doing it right, and we're prepared for whatever happens, what Biden throws at us. But, you know, it's just so frustrating because people get it. They understand that, that this, is not, um, this is not good policy. It's not good direction. Uh, but yet they continue to want to dig deeper and deeper. And, um, you know, it's going to have not just what we're dealing with now. Uh, it's likely to persist with the energy uh, given current posture. It's going to start impacting food security and all these other things. And, uh, you know, I hope that I hope I'm not right on this. But, you know, if I had to bet, I would bet you're going to see, you know, more shortages and things as we get down the road. And so so we're, we're, we're working hard in Florida to do it right. But we do have to just point out that uh, in D.C., they're getting it wrong. And a lot of people are worse off as a result of doing that. And also, uh, uh, you, know, you know, look around at, you know, the, they, don't pro they weren't providing the security for the Supreme Court. Now, finally, they voted for it, but they, they held off on it for a long time. You know, you've got mobs that are out there trying to basically change outcomes of decisions, and, and that's just wrong uh, in terms of what, 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 what is appropriate. And I just don't understand why that would not be something they would want to speak out about uh, in making sure that, that that doesn't happen. So very, very disappointing to see them drag their feet on that. And in Florida, that's not the way uh, we think that we should be doing business. Now, one of the reasons we're here today actually goes back to other Biden policies. When he came into office, uh, he decided to impose a COVID vax mandate on the U.S. military. And you had a situation where some of these, m most people in our military are the lowest of the lowest risk for COVID to begin with. Many of them had already had COVID and had recovered, you know, in 2020 into 2021. Uh, and yet he imposed uh, these mandates on that. 
And that has had the impact of actually uh, kicking people out who had served honorably, you know, who just decide that this is not, not what they want to do. Now, they'll say, um, well, everyone's got to do it, but the thing is it doesn't prevent you from getting infected. And so, you know, people are doing it. And actually, they have now data that shows some of the areas where there's a high prevalence of booster shots being done has actually even more infections than less booster shots. So for the military to have done that, I mean, Biden's making them do it, but um, you're, you're kicking out really good people. Uh, it is not helping good order and discipline. It's hurting good order and discipline when you marginalize people who have done it, done it right and, and worked hard and, and sacrificed uh, themselves for our country. And so seeing that, uh, how bad that was, you know, that was something we didn't want to be a part of. But then also fighting the mandates on private employers. We protected all the police officers, firefighters, everybody in the, the corporations in Florida. You have protection. You can make your own decision on that. And we saved tens of thousands of jobs uh, just for what we did last year when we did a special session. So we've been very keen on this. But we also looked and said, OK, you're going to have people that are going to they're processing out like Navy SEALs. Uh, who have got, who have done uh, really good stuff? They're processing people out, pilots, all this other stuff, and so uh, there's opportunities where people are still want to serve, but they want to serve uh, based on uh, their their conscience on that on that issue.